Hello there. It's so nice to meet you. I am Krista and I will be your nurse today. The doctor is going to be doing a full workup on you. This is going to include my portion, which will be the vital signs, a brief physical assessment, as well as a wound cleansing, and we will be changing your bandages. I hope that you are healing well after your procedure. Yeah? Great. So, before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and get you a small bracelet here. Let's see. Perfect. Alright. Let's see your arm here. This one's fine. I'll just secure it right there. That's great. All right. Now I'm going to get your vital signs. Then I will ask you some brief questions and then we will dive into the physical assessment. So it's going to be a little bit of back and forth from what you may be used to. Okay. Perfect. All right. So First, we are going to take your temperature. Now, have you had any hot or cold foods or smoked within the last 30 minutes? No? Good. Okay. Well, we just like to make sure that we're going to get an accurate read. Simply relax. Okay, I'm going to place the thermometer beneath your tongue. If you will gently hold it for me without biting down. Lovely. Thank you so much. All right, while you're doing that, I will get you set up in the computer here. You can take your information. Six, you are right where you need to be. That normal range. Okay. And while we were taking your temperature, I was watching your respirations. And you are also well within the normal range. 18. That's right. Anything between 12 and 20 is considered normal. Okay, now if I can take this hand, bend your elbow for me. Great. I'm going to lower down here and I'm going to take your pulse here, right here at your wrist. I'm just going to count here. If you could just sit here. Mm-hmm, very good. All right. So far, you are batting a thousand. I'm going to place this little pulse oximeter on your finger. 
very easy. Mm -hmm. Just place your finger right in here. Okay. It's just going to clamp down there. Take your oxygen saturation. Okay. See how fast that was? Okay. All right. And it appears you are breathing properly. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Now let's move on and get your blood pressure. Okay. All right. Let's see. It looks like this is going to be the best arm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Top here. Slide it on. Now we want it to be tight, but not uncomfortably tight. Okay. Should be able to slide two fingers here. Very good. Is that better? Okay. All right. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna place. It's 122 over 82 and 122 over 82 is in the normal almost perfect range and that's good So now that we have done your basic vital signs, we will move on to the questionnaire portion. And this is very simple. I won't ask anything too complicated, okay? And if you don't know an answer, that's all right. Uh, some things like family history and things like that you may not know and that's just fine Grandmas, 
aunts or uncles or anyone in your family who have had any of these diseases or conditions, please say so, okay? And I'll go down the list, all right? And you say yes or no, all right? Okay. High blood pressure, diabetes, migraine headaches, all right, and have you experienced these yourself? Okay. All right, and what's the frequency of your headaches? All right, and do you tend to see an aura? Any lights? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any nausea or vomiting? And are you on any medicines for your headache? All right. And how many milligrams? What about a preventive medicine? And what about a preventive migraine medicine? No? Okay. All right. Now back to the conditions here. Have you or anyone in your family suffered from anxiety or depression? from chronic cough, pain or swelling in your joints, from back problems or back surgeries, and have you had any procedures or surgeries in the past five years? other than the obvious, right? And are you currently taking any daily medications? All right. And how many milligrams? And that's twice a day. And that's at bedtime. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Let me make a note here. Okay. And then what about any over-the-counter supplements or vitamins? Okay. All right. So that is basically a one-a-day vitamin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you a smoker? No? Okay, you're not a smoker. That's good. All right. I'm just going to make a few notes here. visit today, 
I will be asking you your pain level. It's not because I have forgotten. Um, it's just that when someone has had a surgery or a procedure such as you have, we like to make sure that we assess uh, what kind of pain you're having uh, from moment to moment. And we also like to be made aware of what you're taking for it and um, how you're handling the pain. So, mm -hmm. okay. So with that being said, what is your pain level at the moment on a scale with zero being no pain and 10 being absolute excruciating pain? physical assessment portion and I'll begin by asking a couple of questions and just to let you know I will be touching you in a few areas but nothing will be painful okay first of all do you have any allergies to any foods or medications okay and we know that You've recently had a surgery, obviously. Could you stare straight ahead for me? Perfect. I'm going to look into your pupils. All right. Same thing over here. Very good. So your pupils are equally round and reactive to light. Now, would you do me a favor and follow this line? Okay, move it around here. Very good. Now, I'll move it backward a bit. Just keep following it. Now we will do the same thing without the light. All right, you'll just follow it. Very good, very good. Now follow my finger. Very, very good. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions that may seem like common sense. It's just part of our neurological exam. And just go ahead and answer for me, okay? Could you tell me what city you're in right now? Okay, thank you. Can you tell me what year it is? All right. And can you tell me who the President of the United States is? All right, thank you very much. You are alert and oriented. Now, if you can, please, do you mind opening your mouth for me? I want to take a look at your soft tissues. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Very good. Are you having any pain at all in your mouth? No? Nope. Good. Very good. Yep. The mucous membranes are pink and intact. Very good. No missing teeth. And no tooth pain. When was your last dental checkup? Do you remember? Roundabout. Your last cleaning. Okay. 
Okay, so you need a prophylaxis appointment. You know Jennifer at the front desk can help to get you set up with things like that, okay? All right, now I'm gonna pinch your skin a little. Very easy. I'm just checking for hydration and you appear to be hydrated. Yes, you're drinking your water, that's good. Yeah, lots of people don't drink as much water as they need. All right. Now, do you have any bruises or scars on your skin anywhere? No? Okay, just the wound on your abdomen. Okay. All right. Now, I'm also going to pinch your finger just to check your CRT, which is your capillary refill time. And that's a normal response there. Very good. All right. Now, I'm going to put down here and I'm going to take your radial pulse on both sides. It is equally strong on both sides. Okay. Now, can you please grab my hands and pull against me? Oh, very good. <laughs> very strong. Okay. So, your upper extremities are quite strong bilaterally. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna push down on your knees. Now, can you please push against me with your knees as well? Very good. Mm, let me get on this side and try that one more time. to listen to your breath sounds now, okay? I'm gonna place the stethoscope on different areas of your chest, okay? And if you will please take a deep, full breath in every spot that I place it, and then we're gonna do your back, okay? All right, ready? Okay, inhale. And exhale. Again. 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 Listen one more time on this side here. Again. That's better. Now, would you mind crossing your arms in front of you? That just gives me a little bit better access there. I'm going to place my stethoscope. Now, inhale. Again. Again. 
very good. All right. Your lungs are sounding nice and clear. Uh, and next, I'm going to listen to your stomach sounds. All right. So, all you've got to do is just remain still. I'll be touching your stomach just a few places, okay? I'm gonna press down and you let me know if anything is uncomfortable. All right. What about right here? No? Okay. Very good. All right. Let's get over to this side. Okay. All right. A little tender there. Okay. All right. Everything sounds very good, but we can expect that since you had your surgery that obviously your abdomen area is going to be just a little bit tender around the incision site of course so I don't think that's anything to do with any gastrointestinal issues but we will keep an eye on it and let us know if you do have any internal problems okay And now I have to ask a couple of kind of personal questions. So <laughs> just bear with me and just know that it's normal. Have you had a bowel movement today? Okay, so when was your last one? Yesterday, okay. So is that normal for you? All right, and have you urinated today? And I'm sorry, I have to ask, but what color was it? Okay. That's good. It's all of that water that you've been drinking. Mm-hmm. It's paying off. Now, I'm going to go down to your feet and take your pulse in a few places there and also check for edema, okay? Get down here. Let's see. Okay. All right, all is well on that side. Let's check down here. All right. So we have completed the physical assessment portion. Now we will go ahead and get that wound dressed for you. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I will do is go in and remove these old bandages. I'm going to be really gentle here. Okay, let's see. This one. Okay, good. Very nice. Remove this gauze. Now we're going to do a little cleansing here. Alright, now I'm going to wipe it. Just 
gently dab here. Very good. Right there. Okay. So now I'm going to prepare your new bandages. I'm going to set up a sterile field and I'll be right back, okay? I am going to lay out my sterile surgical gloves and prepare this sterile field for the wound dressing. I've also got some sterile gauze here. And I have wound cleanser. And some tape. I will prepare my tape by writing information. initials here and okay and we replicate it on this side as well It is very important to maintain a sterile environment when applying the gloves. This way we do not introduce any new bacteria into the wound itself. Okay. All right. Got my new gauze here. Place them here. There you go. Alright, is that comfortable? Okay, feeling alright? Good. Perfect. Let's just tap it down. And we'll help it stick. your abdomen and stay on for you, okay?
Do you have any questions at all? All right, good. So I really am glad to see that your wound is healing so nicely. And I'm going to make a few notes about it. I don't see any signs of infection. No redness around the area. That's good. It looks as though everything is going according to plan. Uh, meaning that your sutures are going to fall out on their own, which is good. We still have you scheduled uh, to see us in two more weeks, okay? We print you out a little reminder. Alright, so two week checkup. Now, how's your pain level after the wound dressing? Okay, good. I'm pretty sure that your Advil will begin to wear off very soon, so if you'd like, I can bring you some Advil to take before you go. No? Okay. Well, just be sure and let us know if you need any medication stronger than over-the-counter, okay? because you did have a surgery and it takes six to eight weeks to recover from a surgery and that's plain and simple, okay? And we want you to take care of yourself, all right? Thank you so much for coming today and I will see you in two weeks and I'm sending you with a paper reminder, let me print it, but also, someone will call you to remind you and give you a little bit of a confirmation. And so, I'll see you then. Alright. Bye-bye, and you have a good day.